Buckle up and get ready to hit the vast outback as we dive into the incredible world of Australian road trains. These massive marvels are not just a spectacle of engineering, but are a crucial lifeline in the expansive Australian landscape. In this thrilling compilation, we uncover why road trains aren't just efficient, but why they're a vital necessity, explore their undervalued impact, and delve into the gripping, often untold history of these giants on wheels. Stay tuned as we unravel the stories of power, persistence, and pioneering that define the Australian road train. Types of trucks. Australia's diverse trucking industry boasts a remarkable array of trucks, known as prime movers, sourced from various corners of the globe. As you traverse the roads of this vast country, you will encounter an impressive mix of truck brands that showcase both international and local expertise. European manufacturers, including Scania, Volvo, and Iveco, have left their mark on the Australian roads, delivering efficient and reliable vehicles to meet the demands of the transportation sector. Similarly, Japanese brands such as Mitsubishi, Isuzu, and UD have made significant inroads in the Australian trucking landscape, providing vehicles renowned for their durability and fuel efficiency. American manufacturers like Kenworth, Mack, and Peterbilt have also secured a prominent position in the Australian trucking market, with their robust and powerful trucks earning the respect of truckers nationwide. In addition to the diverse range of truck brands, Australian roads accommodate two primary cab styles, each catering to specific requirements and preferences. The conventional cab, also known as a bonneted truck, boasts a classic and timeless design with the engine situated at the front of the vehicle. This configuration is well suited for longer distance travel and is particularly favored for road trains that play a crucial role in economically connecting remote Australian communities. On the other hand, the cab over style, often referred to as a cab forward design, takes a more compact and maneuverable approach. The engine sits beneath or behind the driver's cabin, providing a more spacious and efficient use of space. Cupovers excel in navigating through urban areas and congested streets, where agility and visibility are paramount. Their ability to accommodate shorter distance hauls makes them a preferred choice for transporting goods within densely populated regions of Australia. Conventional cabs. The conventional cab, also known as a bonneted truck, takes center stage in the Australian trucking industry, particularly when it comes to long distance travel. Renowned for its iconic and classic design, this type of cab plays a vital role in the operation of road trains, which serve as a lifeline to remote Australian communities that lack proper transportation infrastructure. Road trains, an integral part of the country's freight network, often consist of three or more trailers linked together, making them capable of covering vast distances over rugged and desolate terrains that characterize much of the Australian outback. One of the distinctive features that sets the conventional cab apart is its generous engine space. This roomy engine compartment allows for the installation of massive engines, perfectly suited for hauling heavy loads across the challenging Australian landscape. Given the vast distances road trains traverse and the weight they carry, these powerful engines are a necessity to ensure reliable and efficient transportation of goods and supplies to the far reaches of the country. Furthermore, the spacious interior of the conventional cab provides a much-needed sanctuary for truck drivers who spend days or even months on the road. In the harsh and unforgiving climate of Australia, where the sun's scorching rays can take a toll on both driver and machine, having a comfortable and accommodating cabin becomes a crucial factor in ensuring the well-being of truckers. The extra cabin space in conventional cabs offers truck drivers a place to rest, eat, and recharge during their long journeys, providing a sense of comfort and respite amidst the challenging conditions they face. Advantages of conventional cabs in the outback the Australian outback presents a rugged and unforgiving landscape, and traversing its vast distances can expose trucks to unique challenges. One of the most significant challenges faced by truck drivers in the outback is the risk of engine overheating, especially when climbing steep inclines. The demanding terrain and harsh climate can push engines to their limits, making overheating a common concern for drivers on these remote and challenging roads. In such conditions, the design of the conventional cab comes to the rescue. With its front-mounted engine, addressing engine issues and cooling down an overheated engine becomes a relatively straightforward task during maintenance stops. Truckers can easily access the engine by popping the bonnet, enabling them to inspect and troubleshoot any potential problems promptly. This accessibility becomes particularly invaluable in remote areas where access to specialized repair facilities or expert mechanics might be limited or even non-existent. While American brand cabovers can also be spotted in road trains, the practicality and ease of maintenance offered by conventional cabs often make them the preferred choice. 
The Outback's rugged environment can be unforgiving, and the ability to conduct simpler repairs in the field can be a significant advantage for truckers. Conventional cabs allow drivers to perform essential maintenance tasks without the need to tilt the entire cabin, reducing downtime and ensuring that the truck can get back on the road more efficiently. Capovers on the coast. As the trucking industry weaves its way through the bustling coastal roads of Australia, it's the Combovers that take center stage. These nimble and compact vehicles have become the preferred choice for shorter distance hauls in densely populated areas, where agility and efficiency are paramount. Embracing a forward-thinking design, Combovers offer a range of advantages perfectly suited for navigating the dynamic urban landscape. One of the key strengths of Cubovers lies in their ability to provide drivers with a greater field of view. With the engine situated beneath or behind the cabin, Cubovers offer an unobstructed view of the road ahead, enabling truckers to navigate traffic and obstacles with heightened awareness. This enhanced visibility contributes to improved safety on crowded city streets, where constant vigilance is necessary to avoid potential accidents and ensure the smooth flow of traffic. The maneuverability of cabovers further enhances their appeal in busy urban environments. With a shorter wheelbase and reduced overall length, these trucks can make tighter turns and navigate narrower streets with ease. This flexibility translates to reduced congestion and a smaller footprint on the road, enabling them to access tight delivery locations and loading docks that may be challenging for longer trucks. The popularity of cabovers on Australia's coastal roads is also attributed to the thoughtfully engineered design they boast. Most of these cabovers hail from reputable European and Japanese manufacturers, renowned for their commitment to safety and innovation. These manufacturers have carefully balanced comfort and safety features to ensure an optimal driving experience for truckers while adhering to stringent safety standards. Diversity and choice in Australia's trucking industry The Australian trucking industry stands out as a shining example of diversity and adaptability, offering drivers an unparalleled freedom of choice. This robust and dynamic sector acknowledges that there is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to trucks, understanding that different terrains, distances, and job requirements call for varied vehicles. As a result, truck drivers in Australia have the luxury of selecting from an impressive array of options, each tailored to meet specific preferences and demands. Whether you yearn for the rugged and adventurous experience of navigating the vast outback in a road train with a conventional cab, or seek the nimbleness and efficiency of cabovers maneuvering through bustling coastal cities, Australia's trucking industry has it all. The industry's commitment to providing diverse truck options ensures that drivers can find the perfect fit for their individual needs, optimizing their performance and job satisfaction. While debates may persist about which cab style reigns supreme, be it the classic bonneted truck or the modern cab over, the beauty lies in the diversity and freedom of choice itself. Truckers can select the truck that aligns with their personal preferences, driving habits, and the type of routes they frequently undertake. Such autonomy empowers drivers, instilling a sense of pride and ownership in their profession. The advantages of Australian trucking extend beyond the trucks themselves. The availability of diverse truck options enhances driver well-being, allowing them to select a truck that aligns with their preferences and lifestyle, ultimately leading to greater job satisfaction. Moreover, the industry's focus on innovation and competition, spurred by the variety of truck manufacturers and brands, results in continuous improvements, benefiting not only drivers but the entire transportation sector. As trucks crisscross the vast expanse of Australia, each chosen to suit the unique demands of its respective journey, the trucking industry exemplifies its adaptability and ingenuity. This adaptability allows it to thrive in the challenging environments of the outback and the bustling streets of coastal cities alike. So whether you find yourself drawn to the allure of the iconic road train with its powerful conventional cab or enticed by the practicality and agility of the cabovers on coastal routes, there's no denying that Australian trucking makes more sense. The industry's commitment to diversity and choice ensures that it remains a driving force in the world of transportation. Now that you've seen the sheer brilliance and rationale behind these behemoths, let's peel another layer. Coming up, we explore an often overlooked aspect of these titans of the road. Discover how Australian road trains are not just practical, but severely undervalued in their contribution to Australia's economy and beyond. Keep watching as what's coming might just change the way you see these colossal convoys. The Australian Trucking Landscape Australia, roughly equivalent in size to the USA, boasts a population of around 24.5 million, a stark contrast to the USA's 330 million. The majority of Australia's population lives along the eastern coast. With six major cities spread across the continent, the dynamics of freight movement differ significantly. 
Consequently, the bulk of Australia's freight operations run from Melbourne in the south to either Sydney or Brisbane. Australia's unique geography, marked by vast expanses of arid land and rugged terrain, presents challenges and opportunities for its transportation industry. A diverse array of trucks is necessary to efficiently tackle the diverse tasks at hand. There is, for example, an urgent need for specialized trucks capable of traversing long distances across diverse landscapes is paramount. In addition to the traditional freight routes between major cities, there are also intricate supply chains servicing remote communities and mining operations in the outback. Moreover, Australia's trucking industry is not only essential for commerce, but also plays a critical role in disaster relief efforts and emergency response, particularly in regions prone to bushfires, floods, and other natural disasters. This demand for versatility and resilience has fostered innovation in truck design and technology, with manufacturers developing vehicles tailored to meet the unique demands of the Australian market. As a result, the trucking landscape in Australia is characterized by significant diversity, encompassing light-duty, medium-duty, and heavy-duty trucks. These vehicles range from those capable of handling loads exceeding 120 tons with three or four trailers to both long-nosed and cab-over trucks. Australia's Truck Market Australia's truck market boasts a diverse array of brands, ranging from Kenworth and Volvo to Isuzu, Mercedes-Benz, Scania, Freightliner, and many others. This broad representation is partly attributed to the unique regulations governing trucking in Australia, as well as the varied nature of freight transportation across the continent. The driving conditions in Australia vary significantly, depending on whether goods need to be transported over long distances or within urban areas. Cab over trucks, favored for their maneuverability, are particularly well suited for navigating tight city streets and congested traffic. Their compact design makes them easier to handle in urban environments, where space is limited. Conversely, long-nosed trucks offer enhanced comfort and spaciousness, making them preferable for long-haul journeys across Australia's vast distances. These trucks provide drivers with a more comfortable and ergonomic environment, ensuring a smoother experience during extended trips. In Australia, there are distinct differences in terminology within the trucking industry. Unlike in some other countries, truck drivers are commonly referred to as truckies instead of truckers. Moreover, what is typically called a tractor elsewhere is known as a prime mover in Australia. It's worth noting that in Australia, a tractor is what farmers use to cultivate their fields for crop growth, rather than being associated with trucking. On the road. Across the vast expanse of Australia's roads, where thousands of miles stretch between cities and hills are scarce, the concept of the Australian road train proves highly practical. A standard road train typically consists of three 44-foot trailers, each equipped with a twin axle and turntable dolly positioned beneath the front of the trailer. With a combined load of 120 tons distributed among the three trailers, these trains provide an efficient means of transporting goods. While a typical road train spans up to 53 meters or 174 feet in length, in the realm of mining operations, they may haul six trailers or even more. However, adhering to regulations can prove challenging, as drivers are permitted to drive for four hours straight before a mandatory half-hour break and are capped at 12 hours of driving per day. Despite these regulations, many drivers flout them routinely, rendering their logbooks, colloquially known as the Book of Lies, essentially meaningless. Navigating the outback presents its own set of challenges, with narrow and rugged roads compounded by extreme weather conditions. Australian truck drivers must contend with scorching temperatures that can soar up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius, placing significant stress on tires, fuel consumption, and water reserves. Sudden downpours can also create unforeseen hazards, necessitating careful planning and preparedness. Furthermore, the unpredictability of the outback landscape adds another layer of complexity. While coastal regions boast typical farmland, the outback offers a diverse and often surprising tableau. Nighttime travel brings encounters with kangaroos, sizable animals weighing up to 90 kilograms or 198 pounds. Collisions with these creatures, which can occur frequently, 
pose significant risks to both drivers and vehicles, necessitating the installation of robust bull bars on truck fronts. Despite precautions, the reality remains that hitting multiple kangaroos on a single trip is not uncommon, and the damage incurred can be substantial. Australian Truck and Trailer Rules The shortage of truck drivers has become a growing concern in Australia. Despite the relatively decent wages offered to Australian truckies, averaging around $600 per week. This stands in contrast to the average weekly wage of approximately $375 for other blue-collar jobs in the country. However, the job demands extensive hours, with long days and overnight stays in trucks, often keeping drivers away from home for extended periods. With an average age of approximately 54 years, the trucking industry in Australia is facing a dearth of young recruits. Many individuals are deterred by the demanding nature of the job, as well as perceived over-policing, excessive time away from home, and a perceived lack of respect for the profession. In response to the shortage, some larger companies have exploited immigration loopholes to recruit unskilled overseas truck drivers. However, this approach has yielded disastrous results, with a significant increase in heavy vehicle incidents caused by these inexperienced drivers across various states in Australia. Despite these challenges, there remains hope for a brighter future for Australian truckers. However, addressing the underlying issues and improving conditions within the industry will be crucial in attracting and retaining skilled professionals. Fascinated by how underrated these giants are? Well, the story doesn't end there. Next, we delve into the darker yet pivotal chapters of history with the first Australian road train. The journey is as compelling as it is cruel, highlighting the trials and triumphs that have shaped today's road train operations. Don't go anywhere. The roots of these road warriors are as dramatic as they are enlightening. The Genesis of the Road Train The concept of a road train, though unconventional at first glance, originated in Britain in 1927. At that time, the specter of another war loomed large, prompting the British government to embark on a project aimed at developing a formidable truck capable of traversing desert terrain while transporting troops and supplies. This ambitious endeavor was funded by 30 countries within the British Commonwealth. The task of bringing this vision to life was entrusted to the Associated Equipment Company, also called AEC, renowned for its later production of the iconic Red London buses. The culmination of their efforts was the AEC 8x8 government road train, featuring a main tractor unit in an 8x8 configuration and two trailers, each with the same number of axles. This pioneering truck boasted impressive specifications for its era, including a six-cylinder 8.9-liter diesel engine generating 130 horsepower, paired with a four-speed manual transmission. Despite its electric starting system, it also incorporated a manual crank for ignition, albeit requiring the strength of two individuals to operate. Equipped with all-wheel drive and an 8x8 configuration, the AEC 8x8 government road train featured two steering axles, the first and fourth providing exceptional maneuverability. Similarly, the attached trailers were designed with a steering solution, ensuring the entire assembly could navigate with precision, even when fully laden. A notable innovation was the braking system, engineered to enhance operational stability. The rear axle of the last trailer exerted greater braking force, gradually diminishing as it approached the truck, thereby optimizing control and safety throughout the entire convoy. Regarding its design, simplicity was key. The cabin featured a square shape and notably lacked a windshield. At the rear, a large radiator with an attached fan provided essential cooling. Additionally, the engine incorporated its own fan, albeit smaller, to optimize cooling efficiency. Despite its modest 130 horsepower, the vehicle demonstrated remarkable capability, capable of transporting loads of up to 30 tons. However, its performance in terms of speed was limited, with a maximum achievable speed of 50 kilometers per hour or 30 miles per hour. Manufacturing Details Officially, only three vehicles of this type were produced, although there is speculation regarding a potential fourth unit. The initial model was equipped with a gasoline engine and dispatched to Africa for rigorous desert testing. 
Subsequently, the second model was sent to the former Soviet Union for evaluation in cold climates. The third truck found its way to Australia, arriving in May 1934 under the guardianship of the Motor Transport Division of the Australian government. Australia in the 1930s, a historical context. Before delving further, it's crucial to grasp the historical backdrop against which Australia found itself. The aftermath of the First World War had plunged the nation into a severe crisis, marked by a shortage of returning servicemen. Conditions were far from ideal, with several regions relying heavily on railways for essential supplies. Yet, where rail networks didn't extend, vast caravans of camels and pack horses became the lifeline. Transporting vital goods and raw materials in such remote and inhospitable regions fell squarely on the shoulders of those dwelling in far-flung and economically challenged areas, distant from urban centers. This often entailed extensive waiting periods, with workers spending weeks if not months on the road, far from the comforts of home. Moreover, the unpredictable conditions en route added another layer of uncertainty, raising concerns about the safe and timely arrival of cargo at its destination. The Crucial Trial Upon its arrival, the truck faced a pivotal test, one that would determine the fate of the entire project. This trial was no ordinary journey. It entailed covering approximately 1,770 kilometers from Adelaide to Tennant Creek. The challenge was daunting, compounded by the absence of established roads or marked trails. Moreover, the truck's substantial width rendered it incompatible with existing paths. Navigating through rugged terrain posed a multitude of obstacles. The Hugh River crossings and Sandy Hills presented constant challenges, often causing gridlock and necessitating the detachment of trailers for individual negotiation. Progress was slow, with a mere 3 to 5 kilometers or 2 to 4 miles covered per day. After a grueling 19-day trek, equivalent to what now takes approximately 23 hours, the AEC finally achieved its objective. This success prompted the Australian government to swiftly issue a purchase order, signaling the end of an era for camel transporters. Thus began the truck's service, spanning approximately 12 years and encompassing over 2 million kilometers or 1.2 million miles. Challenges and Accomplishments Among its myriad tasks, one of the primary challenges faced by the truck was the transportation of drilling equipment often reaching lengths of up to 57 meters or 187 feet. This surpasses even the capacities of modern road trains. Moreover, the truck routinely exceeded manufacturer expectations, frequently hauling loads twice as heavy. Notable feats include the transportation of prefabricated railway wagons weighing a staggering 54 tons across nearly 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles. Additionally, the truck demonstrated remarkable versatility, seamlessly transitioning to tasks such as transporting livestock across remote regions. Its illustrious service culminated in its final major mission, the delivery of 126 baileys of wool to Alice Springs, spanning approximately 400 kilometers or 250 miles. While this achievement may appear modest, it's vital to recognize the context. Previously, such a task required the coordination of over 60 individuals. These accomplishments underscore the remarkable capabilities of the government road train, solidifying its legacy as a pioneering force in Australian transportation history. In conclusion, though camels have long been associated with Australia's remote regions, there exists a tangible relic of transportation history that offers a glimpse into the past. Preserved at the National Road Transport Museum in Alice Springs, Australia, this unassuming truck serves as a time capsule, encapsulating countless extraordinary tales from its ventures across the outback. Despite its unremarkable design and seemingly ordinary qualities, this humble vehicle embodies the essence of exploration and endurance. It stands as a primitive predecessor to the ubiquitous road trains that now traverse the Australian landscape. We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section. Were you familiar with this captivating story? Do you believe this truck to be the true ancestor of modern road trains? And what other historic trucks do you hold in high regard? 
thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed our content and crave more, please subscribe to our channel for similar videos. Your support and interest are invaluable to us. Keep on trucking and stay tuned for more adventures ahead.